G'day, I'm trying something new today. This is a video blog, and everyone's video blogging. Mr. Steel, um, you know, everybody, everyone's video blogging. I'm going to talk about a video blogger first thing in this blog today. I want to talk about Casey Neistat. Now, Casey Neistat is a New Yorker. He flies drones. It's not the main thing he does. He's got millions of subscribers. He's got millions, tens, millions of views. You know, lots of really popular YouTuber. And he's got a few drones. He's got heaps of phantoms that he has destroyed or crashed or broken. And it recently, I think it was uh, DJ, DJI gave him a Mavic Pro and he lost that. And he bought a, what is it, a Dobby selfie drone and he lost that. So, and he's doing all this in New York City, some of the busiest airspace in the world. He's doing it when they're, when they're, you know, he shouldn't be flying in a congested city. He flies well beyond visual line of sight, which is why he loses some of his gear. And I'm thinking, how does this guy get away with it? He's got all these videos. Surely the FAA can see what he's doing. Now remember, it wasn't so long ago the FAA fined Trappy $10,000 for one flight over a university that was sanctioned by the university. Now, this guy Casey Neistat, he's losing drones left, right and centre, flying in all the wrong places at all the wrong times, and nothing happens. What's going on? Who's he sleeping with? What's the story? Um, as I say, go and look at Casey's channel. I'll put a few videos in the description of this, some of the worst offenders, and you have to, you'll be scratching your head like me. I've got no idea how he gets away with it. You know, it's just crazy. So, speaking of other drone videos, there's a guy called, what's his name? Never mind your own. <laughs> this guy is a, flies in Tenerife, I think. He's put a couple of videos up. One of them was an amazing flight with a Phantom 4 from the top of a mountain to the patio of his holiday home, eight kilometers away. Yeah, eight kilometers away. He flew eight kilometers and landed on his own little terraced patio at the back of his holiday home. I don't usually like watching videos like that, but this was enthralling. I just could not stop watching it because every moment you thought, oh, something's going to happen and uh, had some close calls, but hey, he did it. Now, is it legal? Is it safe? I don't know. I'm not going there on this particular video. I just wanted to point it out. But he also brought up an interesting point. He went to a outdoor, you know, recreational park and a ranger there told him he couldn't fly his drone or he face a 6,000 euro fine. And this guy has a bit of a chat about it, tells you what he thinks about it, and he raises some very good points. You really should take a look at that. <laughs> some people passing the singing. Okay. Um, and also, those of you who have seen Ron's FPV or seat of the pants chair for RC model aircraft, a lot of feedback on that one. So Ron and I are actually putting our heads together on this one. We're actually seeing if we can come up with a design that anyone can build using readily available bits and pieces. And create your own, you know, seat of the pants RC experience. So we're thinking about it and it costs probably about 200 bucks of materials uh, and it'll be stuff that you, you won't need a whole lot of stuff to do. Off the shelf bits and pieces that you can put together, uh, maybe a Raspberry Pi computer, maybe some 3D printed parts you can either print yourself or get printed or maybe Banggood will make them. I don't know. If you're interested in that, if you'd really like to see us take this product and make it, in, or this idea, and make it into a cool product, let us know and we'll go ahead and do it. Now we're going to do it anyway because it'll be a cool thing to have at our own airfield. But I'm sure lots of other clubs might be interested as well. I'm pretty sure that if we use something really good, every man and his dog will copy it. But I'm hoping that if we design it up, maybe uh, Ron can sell the plans and make a bit of money for his retirement. Who knows? So that's something to think about. Put a comment on the video. And also put a comment about Casey. What the hell's going on there? And what do you think about this guy, never mind your own? What do you think about his experiences and his attitude to the regulations, which very much mirror my own. There you go, that's my first video blog. And as I say, um, all the links in the description, go and look at them. And I'll do some more. If you like the video blog format, I'll do some more. I'm just sitting on my back porch at the moment. That's why there's all this noise, people going past cars, vehicles. Nah. Anyway, there you go. Thank you for watching. Now I will uh, go inside. It's getting cold. It's spring, but it's still cold.